Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome. In today's session, we are discussing about a type of probability sampling technique called cluster sampling. Now cluster sampling is also called multi-stage sampling. Okay, now what is a cluster? A cluster is a group. Now, how do you administer cluster sampling is? First of all, you divide the target population into mutually exclusive and exhaustive subpopulation and these subpopulations are called clusters. Now I'll make it simple. You buy gems packets of rupees 10. Now those gems packets are called clusters. Now the cluster might, two clusters might look alike. Maybe two gems packets might look alike. But inside the gems packets, the, the, pop, the respondents or the pop people or the sweets that is inside are a different color. Okay, so that is different. So they look alike when two gems packets are taken together, but inside they are different. So this one gems packet is called a cluster. So how you administer cluster sampling is, imagine you have 10 gems packets, randomly you take five or six gems packets. So that is the first step. So there is first stage where you select any five or six, just put five. You've collected five gems packets and you discarded the others. The second stage, it's called multi-stage. So the second stage is from these gems packets, you select an, another five or three or four in a simple random fashion. Okay, so this is a multi-state sampling. You have groups or a group of uh, people, a group of population that is called clusters. Clusters are homogeneous. When you look at two different clusters, they look alike, but inside they are different. So you take any if you, some clusters and from those clusters, you take the samples. Okay, so the simple random sample of clusters is selected based on a probability sampling technique such as simple random sampling. For each selected cluster, either all the elements are included in the sample or sample of elements are drawn probabilistically. Now, elements within a cluster should be heterogeneous as possible. So means they should be different as possible, but clusters themselves should be homogeneous. So two clusters should be homogeneous. Ideally, each cluster should be a small scale representation of the population. It should resemble the population. So what are the advantages of this kind of sampling? The cluster sampling, the biggest advantage is this is totally free from bias and prejudice and it is the representative of the population. And each element in the population has known an equal probability of selection. And it is a very simple method, but I cannot say it's very simple method, but uh, even though uh, you, it is difficult to administer, the results are much more accurate. So look at this particular table. Here you have 25 respondents, number 1 to 25, which are divided into five different clusters. So what do you do first? You select any three clusters. So that is the number three is just your intuition, the researcher's intuition. You take three clusters and from those clusters, based on simple random, you take one or two. So I, I took I selected cluster B, D and E and from B I took one, from D I took two and E I took one. So this is how you do administer a cluster sampling. Thank you very much.